Hello and welcome to the ORCAD X Capture series. This video demonstrates how to assign part designators and annotate the design in ORCAD X Capture. Every part or component in a design needs a unique identifier, which is called a part reference or reference designator. When you place the part, you can assign this reference manually by double clicking on the part reference and specifying the value. Alternatively, you can navigate to Options, Preferences, Miscellaneous, Auto Reference Settings to enable automatic assignment. When using the Auto Assignment feature, the part reference will increment to the next highest part reference. Suppose the Preserve Reference on Copy option is enabled. In that case, save the design. Copying and pasting a part will retain the same reference designator as the copied part. By default, it is turned off. For a single section part, the part reference denotes a package level reference, while with a multi section part, the part reference denotes a gate level reference. It's important to note that manually or user assigned references are underlined in the schematic to distinguish them from tool assigned part references. To adjust this setting, navigate to Options, Preferences, More Preferences, Schematic, and Tick, Untick, Underlined User Assigned Part References. When all the parts are in place, Manually assigning part references can take a lot of time and may lead to errors. To simplify this, you can assign part references automatically. Go to Tools, Annotate, or use the Annotate icon. In the Scope field, annotate the entire design or a selected schematic page. In the Action field, select Incremental Reference Update. The annotate program will not change manually or auto assign a part reference, even if duplicate part references exist. It only changes parts that have unassigned part references. To update references unconditionally, select Unconditional Reference Update in the Annotate dialog box. This option overwrites all existing part references, regardless of their original assignments and optimizes all multi-section parts into a minimum number of physical packages, thus eliminating all duplicate part references in the design. The Reset Part References option resets assigned references to unassigned. When working in an unconditional mode, it's important to consider various options for assigning and preserving reference designators. You can use the Preserve User Assigned option to maintain the user assigned references, and the Preserve Designator option to retain the designator for all the multi package homogeneous parts. Another useful option is Auto Package Heterogeneous Part using First Match, which allows you to annotate heterogeneous split parts without specifying any grouping property. With this option enabled, the tool decides the grouping of heterogeneous split parts using the first match option. For complex hierarchical designs, it's best to use occurrence mode, while instance mode is more suitable for flat and simple hierarchical designs. Select the annotation type as the default. Notice that user assigned part references are preserved. When making changes to the schematic, such as adding, deleting, or renaming pages, the page order may be altered. Depending on the annotation order, it is crucial to choose either Project Manager or Title Block as an option. The Do Not Change the Page Number option is used to prevent existing page numbers from being updated. Let's discuss the Ref Des control required. The controlled annotation feature allows you to annotate your design based on a specified range for each page. Notice that the part references have been adjusted according to the specified range. And with the advanced annotation, you can annotate one or more selected items in the design hierarchy, with each item having its own assigned reference designator range controls. 
notice that the part references have been adjusted according to the specified range. That's all the time we have now for this video. To learn more about the ORCAD X Capture tool, click the link below and enroll for free courses on the Cadence Support Portal. Thanks for watching.